We're one of the largest ecological societies in the world with almost 5,000 members. And the society uh, does a number of activities to support our membership and to promote uh, ecological knowledge and solutions. We give out around about £350,000 per annum. We have outreach grants for really innovative ways of reaching new audiences. We have small and large research grants which are aimed particularly at early career researchers. We also have grants for ecologists in Africa and we also have training and travel grants. In order to attend the conference I got the grant from BS, which is a BS travel grant. Coming here was a really good experience for me. Uh, this was my first conference. So in 2014 we were lucky enough to get a BES uh, large grant and in terms of what the BES really did for me, it was, it was unbelievable because it really set the stage, it opened doors. I am Abhishek Verma, I am doing my PhD in Jawaharlal Nehru University, New Delhi, India. Uh, I got £1,000 from British Ecological Society. Without any grant I can't travel uh, that far, so it's a, a big support from me to be here. And one of the most important things that publications do is they generate income for use by the society to do lots of exciting things, to support ecologists, to run meetings uh, and lots of other great things to promote ecology. The BES is a fantastic organisation. It's very, very receptive to diversity of viewpoints. The meetings are, are just a great time. Lots of fantastic people here, lots of enthusiasm. Uh, you should get involved in the BES if you're not already. Being at the BES and being associate editor has had a tremendous in, in, impact on, on my, my career. It opened up a new view of the whole publication process and helped me with um, contacts. And it is really fascinating to do it because you are at the forefront of what is going on in your field. I'm Dustin Ranglack from the University of Nebraska Kearney and I'm here at the BES meeting as a Southwood Prize winner for the Journal of Applied Ecology. And I'm really excited to be here at the BES to, to share my research with a group of, uh, group of people who otherwise may not have seen it. Winning this prize especially has been very helpful for me. Uh, I feel like it's really opened a lot of doors for me. I received the Robert May Prize from the Journal Methods in Ecology and Evolution. Uh, I'm quite happy that we received the prize from the BES because it really uh, helped us to improve our exposure of our new methods and to get it introduced to a wide range of ecologists and forests. So the policy committee at the BES is all about trying to make sure that environmental policies are informed by the best ecological science. And the two main ways we do that is by harnessing expertise of members and their knowledge and also to try and equip our members to cross that science policy interface more effectively themselves. Um, and my main role with the BES at the moment is that I'm chair of the Scottish Policy Group and uh, we run events such as our famous pie and a pint events. So that's literally where we sit around with a pint and some food and we discuss um, topics that are of current relevance. I'm Danny. I'm currently the post fellow through BES um, in the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology. So it's been a sort of opportunity you wouldn't really get elsewhere and I think it's really going to help with my PhD and my career moving forwards. For education we produce resources as well as providing resources we deliver um, teaching to, to students, uh, undergraduate students and school children. And we also do um, a lot of public engagement activity, taking ecology outside of the academic sphere and taking it to things like music festivals. I got involved with the BES really because I wanted to find informal education opportunities. I had some amazing interactions with some of the students that never thought of ecology, never thought they could impact the world in the ways that we do. The other thing that we do that's really, really important is that we support our members, but our members support us. So we're really uh, reliant on you as members uh, to get involved in our activities. We always want to hear from you as a society because there's never been a more important time than now for ecology to have a voice and for us to all be working together to try and solve those huge ecological global problems that we all face.